Hi, as you can see here, VirtualBox program prevents my Windows 10 from updating to the latest version. If you don't know what is that software, it's great free cross-platform software that allows you to install any operating system like Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS X inside a box separated from your current operating system. You can Google it for further details. I'm pretty sure that I've uninstalled it from my system. But why I'm getting this though? To investigate the issue clearly, we need to download a small piece of software called Notepad++. Head to Google search and type Notepad++. Make sure to read the domain and to click only on the downloads link from that domain. Click the latest release, scroll down, make sure to download the correct set of file for your system. My system is 64-bit, so I'll download 64-bit installer file. Click it to install it. The installation process is straightforward. Next, I agree, next, next, install. Don't run it now. Click Finish. To understand what's going on behind the scene, we have to read the logs. And the logs are hidden in this directory. Don't worry, I'll put all the information inside this note in the video description. Let's copy the first line. Open up Run Window by pressing Start button and R key. Paste the path here and press enter. I want you to open up the last compat data file. Right click it and select edit with notepad++. Here we have to check two nodes, driver packages and programs, to see who caused that issue. First, driver packages. Make sure all block migration values are false. If one of them is true, that's mean we have to disable that driver. I've got two drivers to disable. First, let's see what are they. Copy the value from the information attribute. And I want you to go to this directory. Once you're there, paste the name of the file in the search box and hit enter. Right click it, edit with notepad++. Under abstract section, you can know what is that driver. So I have to disable Microsoft XPS document writer. Before we do that, let's check the second one so we can disable them at the same time. And this driver is Microsoft Print to PDF. Since we know now what drivers to disable, it's easy to do it. Open up Start menu and search for Control Panel. Open it. Click Programs. Under Programs and Features, click Turn Windows Features On or Off. Just uncheck Microsoft Print to PDF and Microsoft XPS Document Writer. Don't worry, they will not be gone. You just disable them. After the upgrade, you can come back here and enable them again. Click OK. Wait until you see Windows completed the requested changes. Click Close. The first node is clear. Now let's solve the second node programs. It's the virtual box who blocking the update process. But as I told you before, I've uninstalled it. To see where is that program located, let's copy the ID value. But first, 
let's open up this file. So copy it and navigate to your Windows partition. Make sure to unhide system files by clicking View tab and check hidden items. Now search for that file. Paste the name here and hit enter. It's gonna take a while, so be patient. Now, right click, edit with notepad++. Let's get back to compat data file and copy the ID of that program. Press Ctrl and F to open up Find Window. And paste the ID value here and click Find Next. Now we know where is that program located. Copy the directory path only without the .exe file. Open up Run Window and paste it here and hit enter. This is the program who uses VirtualBox, but I can't find it in the system uninstall search. So I tried to just delete the entire folder just like this, but no use. I open it again to search for uninstall file. Fortunately, I found it as a batch file. Right click it and I run it as administrator. Basically, what that batch file did is killing all the running VirtualBox tasks. And since there is no tasks running for this directory, I can delete it. Simply select all, control A, and delete. Check, do this for all current items and click continue. Delete the folder as well. Now head back to compat data file. Close all the others. We've learned how to fix driver packages and programs node. Close it. We can just click refresh because the process still depend on old cache. So we need to access this directory again and delete compat scan cache dot dat file. That's it. Now you can click refresh. Problem solved. You can enjoy your new Windows version. After installing the new version of Windows, make sure to keep your Windows updated. Even the optional updates, try to install them. Once you see all the status pending install, restart to finish the installation. After another restart, I'm checking again for updates. Another restart. As you can see, my Windows is up to date. Double check. Now let's open up our this PC Explorer. 
right click on Windows Drive Properties click Disk Cleanup click Clean Up System Files scroll down and look for previous Windows installation this file holds my old Windows version before the update but it is a huge file size for my Windows partition to save it however it's there for you to test the current Windows version if you find your system having issues with apps or anything else you can revert back to the previous Windows before the updates I'll just show you where you can get your previous Windows version back. Open up Start menu and type Settings. Open it. Click Update and Security. From the left side, click Recovery. From here, you can go back to the previous version of Windows 10. I have Get Start button active and that's because I have the file who holds my old windows. As for me, since I know what I'm doing and I'm happy with the current update since it patches the security vulnerabilities, I don't see why I get back to the previous windows version. So I'll just select it to clean it from my windows partition. And I'll click OK to confirm. Yes, I'm sure. Delete it. Again, it warns me that if I delete my previous Windows installation, I will no longer be able to restore it. That's okay for me. Yes? That's it, okay. Refresh to see the new size. One last hint. If your Windows update agent is not working properly, you can use the external Windows 10 Update Assistant. I'll show you where you can get it. Open up Google search. Search for Windows 10 Update Assistant. Click Windows 10 Update Assistant, Microsoft Support. Click Download the Update Assistant. and click update now it will download the tool for you and you can download updates from that tool that's all for this tutorial i hope it was easy to follow and helpful thanks for watching